Hey everyone, welcome back. If you're new, I'm Becca. I'm a mom to three boys. And today we are doing a day in the life. I'm extremely tired. We'll get into that later, but I'm just tired. So we're just kind of trucking through this day, trying to get through it as best as possible as a mom and as a single mom and the weight of the world, really, let's be honest. So we just got Grayson from school. I had a dentist appointment this morning. Um, I came home, got ready. The appointment was pretty early. It was right after I dropped off Colby. I didn't wear any makeup because I knew water and stuff would be splashing everywhere. So I went ahead and waited to come home, do my face, drink a coffee, eat some breakfast after the dentist appointment. And then we just went and got Grayson because he gets off pretty early, but we just went and got Grayson. And before having to go pick up Colby, I'm going to go ahead and make a target run. I have some things that I need to get for the kids and just some things I need to get for around the house. But yeah, if you're new, I would love for you to hit that subscribe button. I do a lot of lifestyle content, motherhood content. I'm recently a single mom and just trying to figure out life again on my own and healing and finding myself and all of those things. So if you want to come along for the journey, hit that subscribe button and let's go to Target. If anybody was curious, this is today's outfit. I have some platform Converse on. I love these shoes, some black airy leggings, and then a airy shirt that I believe says find your joy at the bottom. And I love the smiley face. And then I'm gonna rock these sunglasses that I got off Amazon for like $12 maybe. I love them. Makes me feel like I should be a part of the Beatles. Like very retro, love it. I will link them down below in the description box if you're interested. They're polarized, is that what they're called too? And yeah, for $12, you really can't beat it. They're super cute. So let's go to Target. show you guys everything that I got really quickly um, because I need to get some of the stuff put away um, but went to Target I got a bunch of clothes um, for Chris's place to start like a collection of clothes for at his um, house so that I don't have to pack a bag every time he's gonna take them this weekend and get them more clothes but I figured I would just get it started let the kids pick a few shirts that they wanted but we got some milk because we're always running out of milk I got some more Alani's. I got two of the cherry ones because those are my favorite. <coughs> Go ahead and grab something, Tristan, okay? All right, well then you're gonna have to wait a minute. I got two of the blue slushes. Yes, blue slush. Um, and then I got some more toilet wand cleaner things. 
I love these because you can literally pop them on and then when you're done cleaning the toilet, you just toss it in the trash. So like the dirtiest part is thrown away every time you're done. Love it. I've had this thing for years, like probably like five, if not longer years. Um, but I was all out. I used the last one yesterday, so bought some more of those. Um, we needed some more toothpaste and me and Colby both use this toothpaste. So I went ahead and just bought the like value pack. Um, I like the Tom's, the fluoride free Tom's, uh, anti-plaque and whitening toothpaste. I love this stuff. Um, and then I got some more wood cleaner. I use the Everspring one. I really like this. Um, it's a little bit cheaper than method. Um, and I just really like it. I like how it smells. It works great. Um, and then we got a bunch of clothes. So got these shorts for Tristan, these jeans for Grayson. Uh, these are actually a Levi's brand. I'm not even gonna try and say the name because I don't know how to say that, but this is a Levi's brand that's sold at Target. Uh, they're a little pricey to be honest, but Grayson struggles because he's so, he's skinny and tall. So I struggle finding jeans that fit him in the waist and in the legs. Um, and these fit him. So, you know, sometimes you gotta splurge when you can find the right thing. Tristan picked out a blippy shirt. Then we got, Tristan also got another pair of shorts. These shorts are totally affordable at Target. The string works as well too, which Tristan doesn't really have to worry about. That's more Grayson, but the string does work. If you have skinny kids, string works. Uh, Grayson picked out a Jurassic Park shirt. And then this is, Tristan picked this one out. He loves the rainbows. I noticed there was a few shirts that were like rainbows that he picked out that he really liked. Um, so Tristan picked out that one. He also picked out this one. And these, once again, super affordable. Um, we have another pair of jeans for Grayson. I didn't grab any shorts for Grayson because for one, he likes wearing jeans more. And for two, there just wasn't really any in his size that I was sure was gonna fit him. But these also have the adjustable waist thing in them as well, uh, which always comes in handy with skinny kids. Grayson picked out this shirt. I think this was probably his favorite pick at the store. He loves the snake on it. Then we have, this is another Grayson shirt, Minecraft. You know, not surprised, let's be honest. He loves Minecraft. And then I bought Grayson some socks to go to Chris's house and another pair of shorts for Tristan. And that was all the clothes that I bought. I literally just bought Tristan a bundle of socks, same brand. Um, they're Hanes, I think. Yeah, I just bought him a bundle of socks like that. Uh, so I'm going to just take a couple of those and put them in with this stuff so that, you know, it kind of just gets him started. Like he's still gonna have to go out and buy some clothes himself um, just to have like, you know, a decent amount to run through for the weekends. Um, so they're not wearing the same thing every single weekend. I mean, they could, but you know, uh, I just figured this would be a good start so I don't have to pack a bag. It just is one less thing for me to worry about. Um, I can instead just, he can just take them and I don't have to worry about packing things. And you know, if you're a single parent or you've been through this, I'm sure you understand what I'm saying. Cause, uh, it's just, it's another task that I have to do, which I could do. Don't get me wrong, but trying to eliminate some of the tasks. So we are going to start making dinner though. I'm going to make a ham steak. Um, I'm not sure, I don't think I said this earlier, but I'm gonna make a ham steak with some pineapple and brown sugar on it. Um, and I'm gonna make some noodles and then we'll have a little side salad with it. Uh, I'm really excited. I haven't had ham steak in a really long time and it's just, I love pineapple too. So it's a delicious meal. It's super easy, super quick to make. So we're gonna go ahead and get dinner started cause I am hungry.
eating dinner. I just got slowed down a little bit um, from doing the things I wanted to do because Tristan burnt his finger on the stove top literally right after I said, don't touch that, that's hot. <laughs> like I shouldn't laugh, but it's just like, I mean, it never fails. It never fails. I literally was like, don't touch that, it's hot. And then he immediately touches it. It's like, I shouldn't have even said anything because it's like, oh really, it's hot, let me see. <laughs> Um, so he burnt the tip of his middle finger. So, you know, I sat down with him for a while and just like, you know, nurtured him and, you know, put something cold on it and all that stuff. But I have a voiceover that I have to get done tonight. Um, so I'm going to do that. Then I'm going to get, I'm going to get to bed. <sighs> um, but yeah, I'm not going to clean up today because... I'm gonna start filming a cleaning video in the morning. So I'm just gonna, and I have, I feel like I have a lot to do in such a short period of time before I need to go to bed. And I'm just very tired. Look at this one lash. It's like hanging on by a thread. I need to, <laughs> that's gonna be a to-do tonight. I'm gonna get the rest of it off and glue it back on. Um, but I'm very tired. Uh, so I really just wanna get what I have to get done done tonight and go to bed is really what I want to do so let's do this voiceover and get this video uploading this is for a cleaning video which by the time you see this video would have gone out yesterday so if you haven't seen it go and check it out I have a new cleaning video out and yeah I'm gonna get to doing my work <music> I think I'm gonna close out my vlog down here in the office tonight while I'm waiting for my computer to export this cleaning video so I can get it loaded onto YouTube for tomorrow. Uh, but I figured that I would go ahead and just do like a quick update. I've had a lot of questions about like my health and what's going on with that and if I'm still getting my headaches and yes, they're not gonna go anywhere until they figure out where the leak is so basically it just stays the same until they figure out where the leak is um some weeks are rougher than others uh a lot of it is kind of it's contingent upon like me bending over a lot and standing back up and also like my blood pressure i've noticed because like a lot of the times like if i get um like angry or if i get like worked up or if i'm like running or like you know doing anything to elevate that that's where i notice it as well um so some weeks you know obviously i have weeks i'm a normal human being where sometimes i'm on the edge and i'm like just trying to survive so i feel like you know my tension is at an all-time high and obviously given my situation right now like it's probably higher than usual so it does make my head hurt more often um I've been trying to take a lot of like headache medicine it doesn't really do anything but I feel like it's like the placebo effect like where if I take it I feel like at least it takes the edge off I'm not sure it actually does anything it might all be in my head but I still do it anyways um I'll usually stick with like excedrin migraine or something like that but um I was going to go to Duke. I had mentioned before that I was going to go to Duke, but I decided against that because when I was going through the process of going to like, you know, get approved and all that kind of stuff, they had told me that the first step that they take is to do a spinal tap, which is what my doctor had suggested doing. He doesn't want to do it because the problem with the spinal tap is that one of the side effects is what I'm already dealing with and it could be indefinite like it could be a side effect I have for the rest of my life if I do it um so it's a last resort for him because he doesn't want to 
make the situation worse basically you know if he can find the leak without having to do that then it would be more beneficial for me to be able to walk away from it without any side effects from anything that you know could be helping but that is literally the first thing that they do when you go to duke which makes sense like they want answers and that would give them answers so like it's not that i won't ever do that i might have to do that because if i'm at the end of the rope and nobody has answers for me i might have to do that because it will like from what my doctor has told me and from what duke has told me like that will guarantee answers it'll just guarantee answers but it does come with complications so you have to weigh like your pros and cons and for me right now i don't want to do that like that is a total last resort for me um so i need to get together with my neurologist again a lot of people in the comments on my main video about it had mentioned pots and so i'm going to talk to my neurologist and talk to him about that because apparently there was also an article that came out about how um pots and women has risen since covid uh since a lot of women you know have had covid pots has risen unfortunately it's a disease that like is not very well known it's still like in its early stages so i i don't know like i have no idea but the symptoms are pretty much the same as mine i don't know you know my brain shows like that there is something going on there what looks like to be um a csf leak uh and so I don't know if POTS like has that same effect on your brain or not. Uh, so, but it's something I want to talk to my neurologist about nonetheless. So I decided not to go to Duke and I'm going to, um, because really, why am I going to go all the way to Duke and travel, you know, a few hours away and all of that stuff and all the headache that that would bring just for them to do what my doctor can do here. Like what they're going to do, my doctor can already do, you know, it's something, like I said, something that he's already mentioned me possibly having to do to get answers um so yeah so i'm not gonna go to duke which is kind of disappointing i won't lie like a few weeks ago whenever i talked to duke and figured this out i was very discouraged very upset like i just you know i don't know i'm kind of at the point right now where like you know, my doctor has mentioned that there are medicines that he can give me. One of the main ones is a anti-seizure medication that he can give me to help suppress my headaches. And honestly, like, I'm not really like a medicine person. I If I take medicine, it's because I, I act like I really, really need it. Like, I'm not the type of person who has like a mild feeling and takes a medication for it. There's nothing wrong with people who do that, right? But that's just not who I am. So, um... I don't want to take a medication you know i want to solve the problem and so i had said no to the medication originally but i'm kind of at the point now where i might just take it just because you know there's some weeks where my head it, it's so painful that like i just i can't really function a whole lot and i can only do the bare minimum and i just don't want to feel like that anymore so i don't know I don't know i have to talk to my, neuro my neurologist like i said and get back together with him and see um where to go from here i know he wanted to send me to a spine specialist um like a month or so ago before we started talking about duke so maybe he's gonna link me up with the spine specialist but i don't know i don't know so um and then of course like everything that's been going on personally like you know with chris and i and stuff like the unfortunate truth is a lot of things got put on the back burner and that was one of them so uh as much as my health is super important i know that but you know with everything going on it just kind of got put on the back burner and i'm finally now like focusing on me and getting my health back i've you know, I went to the dentist and it's been far too long since I've gone to the dentist too. So I went to the dentist and all that stuff. I'm starting to take care of myself again, which I know is so important. So, but I wanted to give that quick health update because I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Not much has changed. <laughs> Not much is going on. Um, it's all pretty much just still the same, unfortunately, still no answers. So, but I will keep you in the loop. And I mean, if anything big happens or if I get answers or whatever, I will do like 
its own video but just for like little things like this i'll just add it into a vlog so all right i've been talking for long enough now i think it is time to uh hop off here <laughs> And I want to thank you so much for clicking on this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you being here and hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.